This is a follow-up to my uh, career change video. Career change, is there something you should be doing differently? Uh, I'm showing you part of a comic book, graphic novel. What can I say about our next guest that hasn't been said before, Paul? He's a coop, Dave, a maniac, a real lunatic. No, I mean it, he's a nut. So, we are talking about the Joker. And this is the host of the talk show, the nighttime talk show. Here's the uh, music uh, orchestra conductor. This is Batman Dark Knight Returns. And I read it in 1986 by Alan Moore. Our introduction by Alan Moore. This is Frank Miller, who is the author. <clears throat> so, um, there's the talk show host again. And, um, So, in uh, 1986, I read The Dark Knight Returns. There was the scene with uh, the Joker appearing on talk show. And I thought the uh, host and the show and the um, musical director were created by Frank Miller. You know, he just made them up. Frank Miller, but um, in 2008, 22 years later, I, I contrary to custom, I stayed up and was talking with my wife after the news. She had not turned off television. She was on, I think it was CBS, <clears throat> and I see these two guys that look like the guys in the comic book. I tell my wife, that's a real guy. And she says, yes. And I said, no, no, I mean, that's a real guy. And she says, yes, they're not, car you know, cartoons. Said, but I thought they were just in a comic book. I thought they were completely fictional. She says, no, no, that's Dave Letterman, Dave Letterman's show. I didn't know that. And I didn't know that because in 1983, after I made my AABSJD book note, to affect those things, I had to make some sacrifices. And one of my sacrifices was getting rid of my television. I worked, I attended to necessary things. And I studied. I didn't have at that time degree completion programs. So I took usually eight hours a semester, three hours in the summer. I'm just going to have to take years to do it. That's what I did. But I couldn't be distracted. Uh, you know, some distractions, like reading a comic book, n not often. And I couldn't have a daily distraction like television. So I got rid of it. I didn't have a television. And then after I got married, my wife had television. But I didn't watch a lot of television. Pretty rare. So I didn't know that David Letterman was a real person with a real nighttime talk show. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I'd watch Johnny Carson. Uh, back in the 60s, before that, um, well, I didn't know. I really didn't know. And in fact, most of my life since 1983, I have been made fun of, of not knowing popular culture, even my wife. Uh, it hasn't hurt me, and I did accomplish my goals. I managed to earn my degrees and write a bestseller, 
and I spent my time reading. Um, I did own a radio, rarely turned it on. Now, in uh, January 1987, I was walking through Sears, and they had a bunch of uh, televisions. You know, they were on sale, and they were turned on, and I saw the uh, uh, Challenger, the video of the Challenger explosion, which happened in January 86. I just mentioned there's a crowd, a small crowd, and so that's the first time I've seen that. I've seen pictures, but I'd never seen the video before. And a woman standing next to me called me a liar. So everybody's seen that. Well, I didn't engage. I didn't own television. I'd never happened to be around it before. It was a one year anniversary, so I finally saw it. And most of the time I just keep silent because that happens to me all the time. I haven't lived in your same culture if you've watched television all these years. I haven't seen what you've seen, but I did accomplish what I set out to accomplish. There's no reason to argue about, you know, you could have done the same thing without a tell, you know, just don't watch it. Well, I got rid of it. That was my choice. And um, AA, Associate of Arts, major in natural sciences and mathematics, bachelor of science, human resources management with an S. I looked it up, looked on my diploma. Um, JD, Juris Doctor. And book, New York Times bestseller. Now, I had done a lot of writing. Before that, I mean, starting, my, I was first published when I was 12, uh, fiction, short story. And then when I was 16, I started writing columns. I had a newspaper column, Teen Talk. I was one of the Teen Talk writers. There were, you know, they took turns, and you're only a teenager for so long. And a uh, magazine. Uh, since we've moved, I've not been able to find what I'm looking for. Uh, wanted to show you the copy of the magazine. I can't find it. But uh, I've been a writer, been a lawyer, been a teacher. Before that, I was a firefighter EMT. And I had a uh, full life, a fair amount of success. But uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know now who the talk show hosts are. Um, I don't feel, I feel like it was a good trade. I don't know who David Letterman is, or I didn't in 2008, but uh, I do know uh, about constitutional law and, and uh, so forth, how to write a book, how to do interviews. Um, Scene sequel writing. I'm saying uh, if you watch the video on uh, career change, you have to make trade offs. You have to decide do you want to accomplish your goals or do you want to watch TV?